Let's solve merge intervals. This is a classic interview question that's used in a lot of technical interviews, frequently in the form of a calendar or meeting management application. As such, we'll also assume the same use case, as it's easier to visualize. So suppose we're given a few arrays, like 1, 4, 2, 5, 7, 10, 12, 16. Each array within it represents a start time and end time of a meeting. So an array time range of 1, 4 would mean that the event starts at 1 and ends at 4. Now, what if we wanted to merge any overlapping meetings? If one meeting runs into the time of another, we'll want to combine them into 1. As such, 1, 4 and 2, 5 would be combined into 1, 5. For the above example, we would want to return 1, 5, 7, 10, 12, 16. Can you write a method that'll do this? To many people, this problem initially seems harder than it actually is due to confusion on how the merge process actually takes place. But really, there's a very specific workflow to go through. It's just a matter of figuring out the steps. Suppose we take just two ranges, 1, 4, 2, 5. We know in this case, we need to merge them. But how? Well, we know that 1 comes before 2, so the eventual merged meeting will need to start at 1. Now, the key is determining the, the end time. In this case, 4 is earlier than 5 but we want to make sure we cover all the time necessary, so we would prefer to end it at 5. In a sense, when we merge times, the start time kind of takes care of itself. Provided that the ranges or intervals are properly sorted, there's a chronological order we can follow. So let's do that first. So we'll here, we'll sort and look at the first time, otherwise we'll fall back on the second time. Let's briefly pause here and talk about all the various scenarios that would require merging and those that would not require merging. The first is no overlap. So interval A and B do not overlap at all. Secondly, there's an overlap, but B ends after A. Next, A completely overlaps B. Then we have an overlap, but A ends before, or sorry, ends after B. And A and B do not overlap at all. And B completely overlaps A. So what are the implications of each? We can follow these rules. If the intervals do not overlap, we don't have to do any merging. If the intervals partially overlap, we merge interval A and interval B. And then if the interval A completely overlaps interval B, interval B will be merged into A. So once we have a sorted array, we can create an empty result array to store the final intervals. We'll loop over the ranges array at each time range. If there is a clear separation between the last event and this one, We'll simply append it as the last item of the result and set it to the last variable so we can use it as a reference of comparison. Otherwise, if there is an overlap, we'll add the current range to the previous and we do this by extending the last range's end time to encompass this interval as well. And here's the final code. You can check this out for yourself on algodaily.com and I hope this has been helpful.